Hey, CF listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Wednesday, May 26th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Pent-up business travel demand could surpass 2019 levels early next year, airlines reporter Edward Russell writes. Speaking at a transportation conference on Tuesday, American Airlines Chief Revenue Officer Vasu Raja said that the possibility could come true, adding there very much could be pent-up business demand because if we are in a world where clients are ready to host client service-style businesses, it's a question of making a sale or not. While approximately 30% of business travel has returned at American, much of that figure comes from small and medium-sized businesses that need to send staff out in front of customers rather than large corporations. Opinions among executives differ regarding when large-scale domestic business travel will return to pre-pandemic levels. Some believe corporate executives will be hitting the road in large numbers when they are cleared to do so, while others think it could take up to 10 years for U.S. domestic business travel to reach 2019 levels. Next, one business has revealed plans to quiz employees about when they book same-day travel, a development that could have unintended consequences. Skift Corporate Travel Editor Matthew Parsons reports that pharmaceutical company UCB is asking employees who are booking a one-day trip whether they could conduct the essential business via a Zoom or Teams meeting. At Vito, the consultancy arm of UCB's corporate travel agency, BCD Travel, installed that question appearing on a pop-up when staff book a trip, not requiring an overnight stay. The company is trying to determine if employees are planning essential trips in an attempt to become more sustainable. UCB executive Geert Behertz says it aims to become carbon neutral by 2030. Although one executive foresees an overall decline in one-day business trips, there are drawbacks in trying to limit such travel. One consultant stated that if business travelers are unable to book same-day travel, they might claim they need a seemingly unnecessary second day. For example, business travelers could schedule an early morning meeting, necessitating an overnight stay or adding needless I'm-in-your-area meetings. Finally, global tourism reporter Lebowit Lily Girma profiles Cape Cod restaurant owner Matthew Tropiano to highlight the difficulties many tourism-dependent businesses will face due to a pandemic-caused labor shortage. On one hand, restaurateurs like Tropiano are enthusiastic about the large numbers of visitors looking to dine out post-vaccination. But such business owners face an enormous hurdle before they can efficiently serve a large number of guests, a lack of workers. As the annual temporary J-1 and H-2B foreign worker visa programs are delayed due to embassy closings or active U.S. entry bans, it remains to be seen how the 300,000 summer jobs in the Cape Cod area will be filled. As many restaurant owners rue the difficulties they're experiencing in hiring staff for the summer, Tropiano believes restaurateurs should work to remake their business model post-pandemic in order to better weather downturns in tourism. Read Girma's story to find out more about his solutions. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Spoken Layer Hey, CF listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the Brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, Brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for Brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.